you ah. sound for me, bye. Ah, uh ah. -uh. You know, my girl, why, why are you me? <laughs> for you. <laughs> All right, guys, what a good day to be alive, happy, and well. It also the last day in the month of August, so get your dancing shoes because today promises to be a little, little, little way shy. The last Friday, <laughs> because yes, so. I'm not just want to turn yes, so. uh, <laughs> She's ready now. Ah, uh, we just you want just to want to collect flex. salary. <laughs> <laughs> with money. With money. Okay. <laughs> you know, at the end of the day, if you talk, you collect. You collect. Yes, <laughs> that's what we're doing. Okay, mm. guys. So on that note, we join our voices with others to say, thank God, it's Friday. And thank you so much for sticking with us from Monday till today. Yes, mm -hmm. ladies and gentlemen, be part of the fun and happiness via our socials at TVC Connect with the hashtag e e slash on TVC. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Roya Ines and Flannes. Uh -huh. I go by the name King OJ. <laughs> Where you can call me OJ. Uh -huh. He's ginger. That's where it is. It and of course, it is, is what, what it is. is. OJ, yeah. what happened to you today? The way you're introducing yourself with ginger and everything. Yeah. Swag. Not, not Friday. Turn up time, man. Also, the I'm last sure. Friday of the month, meaning that. <laughs> <laughs> And today's going to be since from Friday, so hey. the turn-up starts from now. That's hey. right, that's right. All right, guys, my name is Amanda Dara. Today you can call me Mandy, because it's Friday, you understand why? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fun. Yeah, yeah. All right, guys, now you know me, Catherine, but y'all call me Lady Kath, have real hotness. Mm. That's right. Mm. All right, guys, here's what we can look forward to on today's show. Now we'll be kicking off with the entertainment news. Hey! All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for the entertainment news. We start off with this one. Fancy Acholonu confirms breakup with Alexei Kubo. Nollywood actor Alexei Kubo, ex fiance Fancy Acholonu, has confirmed the end of their relationship and officially calling off their engagement. The US based model released a statement on her Instagram page confirming the rumor that have been trailing their relationship. She wrote and I quote, hey guys, I'm writing to inform you all officially that I've ended my relationship and engagement and I've called off the wedding with Alexei Kubo. I am aware this may be a shock to many people. I made the best decision for myself because it is important that everyone finds happiness and live in their truth. At this time, my family and I ask uh, for you all to please respect our privacy. Thank you so much, end quote. Just so you know, news of their breakup began swirling earlier in the week after it was noticed that Fancy had unfollowed Alex on her Instagram page as well as deleting their loved up pictures and videos and also that of their engagement and not forgetting the deleting of their joint Instagram page at Falex Forever, which was open to celebrate their upcoming wedding. The now exchange couple announced their engagement in the month of May this year and had even slated their traditional wedding for November 20, 2021 in Imbo State and the white wedding for November 27, 2021 in Lagos State. Hmm. So we touched on this briefly and it's oh, official okay. now today. Yeah. Yeah. What are you thinking? No, I'm asking you. No, because you're, I, I like the look. We've we'll, we'll said whatever I want to okay, say. Okay, so I want to hear what I'm thinking. Um, I, think it's, uh, I actually think it's very, very sad. Um, obviously, it was speculations initially, and she now coming out to put out this official statement. This is one official statement that I, I agree with. A lot of times, I'm like, why are you coming to explain to us? But I feel this one, we actually needed and an she explanation. Know, she know explain yeah. Like that, like that. yeah, but like, it, it was the fact that I respect you guys. We openly did this engagement. You know, we talked about it. We even had a joint page. And now it's no more because, um, as she said, everybody deserves happiness and deserves to live their truth. Now, a lot of people have been trying to decode what that means. Um, oh, decode us. What does it mean? It could mean anything. It could mean anything, actually. Okay. It could mean anything. There are different speculations, but whatever it means, I'm sure people are waiting to find out what Alex Ekubo has to say. Because there are always two, to two signs again? to every coin. I don't think he needs to say anything again. Well, people want to hear what he has to say if he wants to say anything. But, say if anything he's not, but if he's not saying anything, we really do not mind. But uh, there's something that people always say. They say as celebrities, if you put something in our faces, then it's our business. Mm -hmm. So I totally agree with Amanda. We put it in your face, we respect you, and now we're taking it off. Okay. Mm. Mm -hmm. So yes. Now, t taking the cue from what you were saying, mm. At what point? Okay. Yeah, I see all of these statements. People are always saying, At what point please, was, please respect. Uh, Go not, straight not, to the point, Ojay. I'm not, I'm not going to Thank you so much it's for that just, wonderful question. It's just I that said. part where people are always saying, respect our privacy at yeah. this moment. It was all up in our faces. Yeah, exactly. So, we, so, so after you drop this statement, we shouldn't talk about it. No, we shouldn't. No, we that's should what they are. They are begging yeah. you. That, you that, know that, people that, were doing goals. People were doing goals when they were doing Instagram. 
OJ, which is why she gave you an official statement. Exactly. Now, the rest of it, move on. when they were dating for five years, did you know about it? So, yeah, you okay, now that they put it up in her face and be doing Instagram live and be peppering people, and people are saying, Oh, look God at way. Alex and, OJ. and Fancy goes. OJ, goes. when you need light, <sighs> you turn it off and on on the switch. So I'm they ready. switch it on, now they switch it off. All I'm going to say is that anybody who is doing goals for them should just realize that they are all humans. Everybody yes, is human. They are. Um, I saw a post that said, oh, um, Simi and her husband are still, you know, good. Yes. Back in the day. But I decided to look at this example. I'm like, you see now, you know, marriage only really work. You know, at the end of the day, this isn't working for reasons best known to them. Yeah. Well, they told you, finding happiness and living yeah. your truth. What it means, maybe you go ask her, follow up questions. Hello, ma'am. Clicks. They finally told you What's that truth? privacy, so there's no uh, need to be asking for that. No exactly, so at the end of the day, the best. Yeah, yeah, wish them all the best. So, now, so wow, sad. so breakfast served. Oh, more. Serious ah, man. This one, Abu Feo. But this wedding was, people were really... Looking forward to it. Like... Even event plans. And there's so many rumors that have been flying around. Okay, let's just move on. All right, moving ah. on. <laughs> <laughs> Still on the entertainment news, Made Kuti joins Recording Academy Class of 2021. Massive news coming for the Anikula Kuti Kuti clan as Femi Kuti's son, Made Kuti, has announced that he has been selected to join the Recording Academy Class of 2021 as a voting member. The music star took to his Instagram page to share the exciting news, writing, and I'm quoting, humble to be a voting member of at Recording Academy class of 2021, looking forward to contributing as positively and progressively as possible. Now, just so you know, the music recording company voting membership is for performers, songwriters, producers, engineers, instrumentalists, and other creators currently working in the recording industry. And voting members determine Grammy winners each year. <laughs> Made Kuti now joins fellow Nigerian singing Nini Ola, who is also a member of the 2021 class, Music A&R Bankuli and Ghanaian producer Jules, were inducted into the Grammy Recording Academy class of 2020, while Aramide was appointed to the Governance Board in 2019. Oh, she, now to fans Made Kuti briefly right now. As in, you know, <laughs> you want to win a Grammy. I'm like, hi! You just, you just, you just, just your music, I submitted, you know? I submitted my work for Made, so if it comes on be saying table, just be saying, just be saying this song in Africa, in Nigeria, mm, is big. massive, man. Yeah, massive. <laughs> it's big. <laughs> 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 that is, that's his saxophone this play is, right this there. This is good news. It's this really good amazing. News. And, I, and I like it that, aside Grammy, even mm -hmm. the Oscars, mm -hmm. they're including everybody yeah. Yeah. in their decision. Yes, the Oscars got dragged for years. Mm -hmm. They're making it all white. Now it's diversified. Mm -hmm. They're blacks. They're people Very from different true. ways. Having a say for people that should be nominated mm -hmm. and people that should win. And I think and I it's like a win idea. for Nigeria yes, as well yes. because we have Inyola, we have him, we have Madikuti, we have Bangkuli as well. Yeah. So, yeah. And then even mm -hmm. on the board of trustees, we have Arami Day. Yeah. So for Africa generally, mm -hmm. Nigeria, it's, it's Africa it's in general, thing. it's a big win. So it's, co it's coming back home. It's yes, coming no more. It's coming back home. Very soon. Who will win it next? See, two years and two days ago, OJ was like, very soon. Because you know, it's be like what time? So, OJ, no, you see? You know, I said that term. You prophesied. That day. That. <laughs> that soon. I did not say when. In the, year, in the year in review, you have to drop a massive album. <laughs> to be in that particular category. I mean, I used to talk about this global world album category. So, I rasta. <laughs> <laughs> she has not dropped an album yet. It's just an EP. An EP. 19 and Dangerous. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, oh that's, that's... That's an album. Okay, it's an album. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so... Wait, another true. Instagram. Uh, yes, uh, yes, yes. So, everybody now. Niger to the world. Uh, okay, so, <laughs> you never can tell. Just submit your work and... You never Who can knows? Tell. Yeah, the influence. Back up. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Moving on to the next story, Kim Kardashian plans to keep West as last name after divorce. Days after Kanye West filed to change his name to Joss Ye, it's a strange wife, Kim Kardashian, has indicated that she has has no plans to drop a marital name, which is West, after the divorce is finalized. According to sources, the American reality star and businesswoman feels it's important for her to keep the same last name as her four children, and there are no plans to change North, South, Chicago, and Saint's last name either, even though Kanye has applied to legally change his name. Kim Kardashian is said to be in support of her exchange husband's decision, as he has been uh, known as Ye for years, and people will still recognize him as Kanye West, even though it's changing his legal moniker. 
Despite their splits, Kim has been spotted at a few of Kanye's events recently, including his Donda listening parties. She even stole the show yesterday night as she made a cameo at Kanye West's yet to be released Donda album third listening party in his hometown Chicago. Kim Kardashian emerged from the audience in a wedding dress before Kanye West on stage, a stage that had a replica of Kanye's childhood home at the Soldier Film Stadium in Chicago. So where, where do we start from? Um, Is it the wedding dress, Abi? She I returning think, the name. I think I want to start with the wedding dress. makes my life hard. I'm always defending this woman. I want to, me, I want to start with the wedding dress oh, yeah, because that. that was stunning. Like even her sisters took to their social media pages, especially Chloe. She was yeah. like. This is one of the most amazing things I have seen. And in recent times, we know Kanye has uh, unfollowed all the Kardashians, but they still support him because Kim is supporting him yeah. and they do not have a choice. Is he following Kim on Instagram? Yeah, he's, he's following only Kim. Yeah. I'm talking about the sisters. The sisters mm -hmm. So he unfollowed the whole family <laughs> and left only Kim. Mm -hmm. So now it's more like, if back. you like, support me, don't mm. support me, your sister. Back? Well, Kim, 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 Kim. Well, it, it, well, it was supposed to be just an amazing entrance. I oh, think, that's it. I, yeah. I, we don't know what is going on there, but <laughs> ah, I, I do, I do, I would say that I think that they're still in love with each other. They are. I, I think that Kim still very much no. loves me. I just feel it's a situation of, oh, you know, you're not good for me, you know, so I'm just going to take my space, you understand? And that's what's probably going on. Yeah. You actually sound like her. Yeah. I watched them. <laughs> 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 and then it could it could be uh, just a misunderstanding. Maybe they want an op one person wants an open relationship. The other one's and like, you talk no, you're my person. I See, you know, there are times that things have happened over the years and you're just tired. As I said, Kim is stressing me. I'm tired of defending this uh -uh. woman. The fact she's that she's still keeping his last name, even though he's changing it, I don't know how to feel about she that. She said because of the kids. Because um, of the kids, yeah. Yeah, because of the kids, but he's changing his name. I don't, I don't know. Like, now mm. these things are odd because it feels like Look, you. She has hijacked the West name. Exactly. She was a product. She has brand KKW. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. So now, mm -hmm. if he changes his name, and later on in 20 years, you know, he now has to come yeah. and collect a percentage, just like the whole yeah. um, Fenty thing yeah. that happened with Rihanna, the father and coming father, back. Yeah. He can't come back and lay claims to it anymore. So legally, if he's not careful, he will lose his identity. And this look, he's starting to look like a Kim Kardashian, a Kardashian you know, problem. You know? Because where the men just seem to lose their identity. Yeah. Next thing, he's changing his name. He started off with Caitlyn. Now I see Yeah, that's their father. See, you know, Mandy, so. I won't be surprised if tomorrow Kim wakes up after the divorce and after Kanye changes his name to Ye and she's like, like, you know what? I'm copywriting the West's name for my family. <laughs> really? <I'm, laughs> I, 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 I just feel after saying that yesterday, I just feel these people will get back together. Uh, yeah. I, must say, I must say, Kanye is a, is a creative genius. He had a yes, replica he of his home, a his childhood home, cool. in, on stage. Yeah. Then Kanye's um, exit from performance was in... Covered in fire. Fire. You see what I'm saying? Hey! It's demonic possession. It's creativity. That, ah, he needs to go and be delivered. They need to wash his head it's in the creativity. river. Why is he leaving his fire? Perfectus. The symbolism of Perfectus. coming with a wedding dress and you're now living with fire. fire. You see that that marriage is going to be on what? Fire. That's all we can That's say. That's how it Nigeria sounds. Yeah. <laughs> I'm done with all my conspiracy theories. That's all we can take, guys. All right, it is time for something exciting. It's time for a celebrity birthday shout out. Now, first on our list in alphabetical order, rather, we have Aaron Paul, who is 42 today. Yes, he is an American actor best known for his roles in the series Breaking Bad mm -hmm. and films such as Need for Speed, Exodus, Gods and Kings, and Central Intelligence. Yeah, mm. he's definitely known from Need for Speed. Yeah, yeah and that's what I need. Happy birthday Happy to him. Birthday. We also have our very own, you know, partly Hans Anuku, who is 61 today. Yeah. <laughs> yes, the Nigerian Ghanaian actor is popular for his roles as a villain in Nollywood films, and I could not believe that he's 61. Yes. Yes. So if, if you want to look at Hans Anuku, how, when he started, <laughs> it's on that same level with them, RMD. RMD just clocked. Mm. 60 or 50? 60. 60, 60, 60. Something, yeah. So it's on 60, the same level with 60, them. Yeah. What does them, Regina? Ask you. Yeah. So, As he... No, he dresses young and... Yo, it's true. Exactly. Ghana. <laughs> if he be 61, true. Time, true, true. time ah, flies. Wow. Well. All right, happy birthday to him. We also have Mario, who is 35 today. He 
is an American singer, songwriter, actor, dancer, and model. He's known for his singles. Say yes. you're just a friend. All right. Uh, OJ giving us the oh, voice. Yeah. Yes, and what? Baby, you should, should let, let me love you. Let me be the one to. Come on, pay me. Oh, <laughs> when men used to love all, before they were like, oh, this one. You know, Those were me. love songs. Okay, yeah. this one. Okay, this one. All right, it won him two <laughs> Billboard Music Awards. And of course, you know, he yeah. was very, very big mm -hmm. right there. Yes, mm -hmm. he I can't believe he's 35. I thought he was older. So how old was he when he was singing those songs? Uh, it was 19. No wonder. No, they talk very fast. He did talk very fast, left and right. He's not missing 35 now. Oh, so that was teenage love. He was giving up secondary school. It wow. Was real love. What was he loving? What okay. did you know about love? Anyway. See, you know, in those days, <laughs> if you don't chop breakfast, your son don't go sweet. So yes. he does the chop breakfast like buffet. <laughs> oh my goodness. We also have Maze, who is 46 today. He is an American rapper, songwriter, and minister. In the late 1990s, he was known for his affiliation with Bad Boy Records. Tell me what you want. Feel so good and welcome, welcome back. Welcome back, welcome back. Hmm. Mm. Now a minister. Interesting yeah. stuff. And he had issues with Didi. You know, they were colleagues from Bad Boy Records. Mm. But yeah. I'd like to listen to him. He wanted to come back to Color Reality and they were like, it should be a minister. Yeah. Now. Ah. Why are you coming back to Color Reality? How do you what think he's going to be a world world Royalty? Yeah. <laughs> good. 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 I think I've summed nice. on one of his lessons. His nice. Teachings, yeah. God Let's can arrest anybody. <laughs> oh my goodness, happy birthday to him. We also have our very own Nathaniel Bassi, who is 40 today. He is a Nigerian singer, pastor, trumpeter, and gospel songwriter, popularly known for his songs, Imela and Onishe. Onishe. And then the very, very popular one. Oh, 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 he's turning things around. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, love, love, love <laughs> Nathaniel Bassi. I mm -hmm. think he's an amazing guy. And he's really a minister. He ministers with his, his instruments. Is it the Hallelujah and Challenge? Hallelujah Challenge, yes. yes. The Hallelujah uh, Challenge, uh, and even in person. Let me not call you out. You people are always sending me Hallelujah Challenge <laughs> Instagram live. What's the worry on now? now? Receive eh? it. Receive but, what? Receive it. But it's Four something... Nights, eh? It's actually something he has been doing and yes. it has become a yearly thing. Mm -hmm. And it's, I, I believe it's a way to encourage people to learn to pray. Yeah, mm -hmm. they should pray for mm -hmm. me, not send me to come to oh, that line. Oh, they should pray? Yes, I'm watching behalf. film. What happened to your knees? He says watching My film. Hand, I'm, I'm sitting down watching film, so pray for me. Don't you, send me Instagram Your life. team, we pray for you. Okay, yeah. All right, happy birthday God to Nathaniel Bassi. God forgive OJ. <laughs> Amen. Pray for him. All right, we also have Patrick J. Adams, who is 40 today. He is a Canadian actor and director best known for playing Mike Ross, a brilliant college dropout turned unlicensed lawyer in the TV series Suits Up. Oh, Megan hmm. Markle's boyfriend, they had a thing uh, on yes. the podcast. I absolutely loved him mm -hmm. in this one. I, yeah, I, I don't I know how he did it, but he was able to really embody, embody that role. role. Yeah, and um, it's very odd even hearing his name, like, oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> this is you. It is you. Happy you know, birthday to him. You know, sometimes mm -hmm. when you're used to some people's characters' yes. names, when you hear their real name, you're like, Nah, that's his name. It now no. feels like you're feels odd. odd. Yeah, odd. Yeah, <laughs> I get that. All right, we have Peter Stomer. I hope I got that right. Who is 68 today? He is a Swedish actor, musician, playwright, and theater director, popular for his, no, his role in Prison Break. Yeah. Now, he has appeared in films including The Lost Wall, Jurassic Park, Minority Report, Bad Boys 2, Constantine, 22 Jump Street, amongst many, many others. Yeah, hmm. his character was annoying in Prison Break, by yeah, the way. Very I'm, I'm bruisy, yeah. Yeah, that was his character, I'm <laughs> bruisy. Is, yeah. Oh, you even remember the yeah. name. You really uh, watched I love that series, by yeah? the way. I hey, love OJ, <laughs> reminder. <laughs> All right, happy birthday. I have Shagun Odebami, who is 69 today. He is a Nigerian former professional footballer who played as a forward. He won 46 caps and scored 23 goals for the Nigerian national team, which he guided to his first African Cup of Nations title at the 1980 tournament. Yes, Chief Shagodek me. This is the people that were making Nigeria. Yeah, so they were playing back, football now. Back then, Nigeria, well. Nigerian national team. As is. Is. Mm. They're trying, they're trying, OJ. Wow. Yeah. I encourage, I encourage. Morale, morale. Morale, high, morale, high. <laughs> oh, 
Happy <laughs> birthday to him. We also have Yolanda Adams, who is 60 today. What? <laughs> 60 and beautiful. She's an American gospel singer, record producer, actress, and radio host. She's known as the queen of contemporary gospel music and the first lady of modern gospel. No. Mm. That's it, that's it. It'll be a title. Uh, uh, yes, so. And Black she looks crack. amazing. Mm -hmm. amazing. It's the Holy Spirit inside of her, you understand? Don't bring <laughs> the spiritual thing inside this matter. But sometimes yeah, the spirit keeps you young. <laughs> no, you know, it helps you. It, it fills you. It enriches you. It is healthy you. and exercising. It's not spiritual. And that's <laughs> part of it. And when, you, when you're happy, when you feel Nigeria, fulfilled. Nigeria, everything is good. good. Everything is good. Uh -huh. All right, happy birthday to her. And happy birthday to you out there that is celebrating. I mean, you're celebrating on a Friday, so turn up that day. I hope you're having a good time. Mm -hmm. uh, make sure you remember to say a prayer for yourself yes, and so. your family and stay safe. That's the mood we're in. But turn up, Sha. <laughs> after. OJ, you want to say something? No. <laughs> I'm all, right. <laughs> all right, guys, it is time for Rewind. All right, guys, we still have our lucky winner, Yitende Aremu, in the building, and Ooh, she happens cool. to be our second winner, winning a laptop for herself, courtesy the Shop Shop Game Show giveaway. Mm -hmm. So, so before you present her the gift, mm -hmm. I have just one last question oh, for you. Let's go. What part of the show do you like? Do you always look forward to? The entertainment news. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh. You love to hear the gist. Hey. Yes. Keeps me updated. Wow. wow. Did Amanda keep you updated? Because Amanda was hiding some gist today in the, yeah. in, the yeah. first, so. in the first story. Oh, so <laughs> if you know you know gist. <laughs> the news and the news. <laughs> you hear that. Most people go for um, social, social view or yeah. other segments. Interesting. Anything wow. you want us to add moving forward? Mm. Anybody you want us to interview? Looking mm. forward Your to it. Your favorite Nigerian artist? Um, Kiss Daniel. Ah. Ah. You like him? Yes. That's your Amanda drama. Hey. Amanda, <laughs> see Amanda face, you know? like, Amanda says, like, should I give it to her? Should like, I not give it to her? Should I give it to her? Amanda, she won it. Yeah, let's give it to her. Ladies and gentlemen, Yetunde Aremu winning herself a laptop card to the game game show. You too can be like it in the RMO and of course Grace Onifade and win something exciting for yourself, courtesy the Sharp Sharp Game Show giveaway. Now still we still have a lot of gifts in store for you guys. To be a part of this giveaway, all you have to do is be following at TVC Connect and at the Sharp Sharp Game on Instagram. Now all you have to do is answer a few questions, then you stand the chance to win exciting gifts, things we do for our loyal viewers. Yes, so, yeah, so be on the lookout for the questions on our Instagram page and of course at Facebook at TVC Connect to win your prize. Shop, shop, shop. We'll be back with Social Bill after this time out. Don't miss out. Congratulations. Well, let's talk about this So, so, <laughs> so, so <laughs> yes, yes, the mayor hey. of Lagos himself giving mm -hmm. us that banga. Mm -hmm. mm. mm. has been, it's like he has been resting a little bit now. Yeah, just, yes, it just so. dropped a new single. Um, yeah. Amazing Let song. Me know. I, I think it's on his own right now. Yeah. No longer under DMW. Ooh. Yeah. He's a boss man. Yeah, Look boss at that. Man. All right, talking about boss moves. Mm -hmm. <laughs> social view is a boss corner on its own. Mm -hmm. Now, so... we'll be checking out all the madness happening on social media. I'm sure you're ready. Let's do it together, right? Oh, yeah. We're ready. Oh, yes. Oh, oh. Let the games begin. Let the games begin. Hmm. He talks here, they snub you. Yes. Your last message now, okay. Waiting, I suppose, reply. Okay, for. <laughs> and then there's this dog that's just looking <laughs> with his side. Yeah. So, <laughs> everybody, everybody has been in this situation. As in, yeah. as in. Ah, I'm, I'm, like, I'm thinking of what to say. I'm lost. Because the person that is even saying you snubbed, you too, you ended the conversation. Like, mm -hmm. okay. okay. So, your yeah, question has ended. As in, you didn't start another thing. The guy thing. is right. And it's okay, no, 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 no. So, after, okay, my, you might just put, take care. Take care. Have a nice day. Uh -uh. You said, okay, you didn't say, that's good. You ah. didn't say, so, okay. okay. Even see two okay, letters. Okay, now. Later now. Okay. Bye. After you type okay. Like if, if you even write bye, it's worse. You are rude. Okay. Mm. Later talk now. to you later. Oh, so you're ending the conversation. So you put talk to you later. Maybe next time I'll just put cheers. <laughs> ah, mm, that, that's another one. Cheers. cheers. Just put cheers. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Cheers to the okay. <laughs> they didn't even put oh. You know that. It's just O and K. Not even the food that you're complaining. Okay. Okay. 
All right. So this um, puppet <laughs> is having mysterious eyes. And it says, all this plenty money, Obi Kubana maintains only one woman. Wow. But look at you, your Corolla LE 2004. You wow. won't let Guaripa girls rest. Now, wow, Obi maintains you with hmm. side oh, eyes. What of if it's you girls that are not letting him rest? Is it like? They are not letting Corolla... 2004. You know, man, it's, it's the individual, it's not about the car right now. It's the people. It's, it's the, the people. And those people, it's the, it's sometimes it's you need to see the long, long messages they'll be sending you. But it's true, Sha. Uh, they're always very sweet. It's I used to wonder. Sha, you see, it's I, not by the car. They will check on you, eh? It's Even not you not check on yourself, Rich. Entertainment is hard. It's not ah. by the car. You know, Obi Kubana can entertain himself, he can exactly. travel and all. So now he has to be toasting different babes. That's it. <laughs> and then the thing with Obi Kubana you know? is when he travels mm. with his wife, he takes his people. Yeah. Mm. So they go in groups, mm. in an mm. entourage. Look at that. Think about it. Work hard. So me not get that gorilla to that. Now love. Okay, so this is a basketball boss situation. Mm -hmm. So VIO arrest Nepa. Now, I arrested the vehicle for expired papers. Bam and they reach VIO office. Nepa discover illegal connection. Bam two. Who is who is wrong? My oh, dear, oh, 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 wrong. Wait, let, me, let me let me let me talk. Each other. Excuse me, ma. I'm so, hearing you. In part one, uh huh. Nepa is wrong. Mm. They are carrying expired paper, mm. and the law, the law has said that uh, if you have expired paper, ma'am, mm. there's a rule. I mean, there's a why they went to Nepa office eh? because they arrested them. They did not give them Nepa money. Was meaning them. Mm. Like, hey, you are stopping us. <laughs> No, they arrested them, took them to their office to process to, the to, paper, to, paper. Yeah, to pay. To the then, part two, they now saw that it's a legal Nepal connection. My ah, sister, there'll wow. be a trade. It's only hmm. Nigeria. Hey. Only people that are normal. It's only me. Eh, eh, eh. I will not be surprised if there's I a trade somewhere. You. OJ. Uh, you're not normal. Don't, come, don't say that. <laughs> this <laughs> is the level of normalcy. This should cook. <laughs> He's on his head. And then, so someone mistakenly called me now, thinking I'm her manager, requesting for one day off. So I give her two weeks off. Huh. Honestly, we need rest in this country. See, see this, this person is... Okay, no. no, this thing is very true. <laughs> I was with someone. I person wanted to call someone. I said, hello, Sandra. So send your account number. This that. Okay. It wasn't until <laughs> she was transferring money. She said, this is not Sandra's account number. Ah. She now sent her a message on WhatsApp. Mm. That I just called you. When did you change your surname? But you're not married. I was like, you didn't call me. Hey. Now, now so the matter cast. <laughs> the person be Sandra briefly. Okay. Please, please. That's why when you save numbers, save it with Sandra. Please. Is this person wrong? Please don't be like ah. this person because they might end up sacking this person. They might As end up, they might end up sacking person. the other person. Yeah. But, they, but looking at look, no deal. Looking at the last. We all need. But you see, look, you can also say that yeah. you know you are scam. This one is <laughs> one chance online. <laughs> one chance. Nobody, nobody should come with this excuse to this office. We'll catch you. We got no, OJ. OJ. Like mm, I, I thought on. I called you. Are you like, told me to take two. I'll call about to use it next week. No. See. Amanda, if you ever use it, don't think. I called you. This can I, I don't know that I thought wow. I called you. Wow. This can already. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so now this person is saying, dating an uneducated girl is okay <laughs> until you text her goodnight, babe, sweet dreams, and she replies you with, Good night, my love. May your soul rest in peace. Huh? My brother, <laughs> you are not sick, no sleep. You know, no there, sleep for there you. There are differences. You know, there's no sleep for the wicked. This one, you're not wicked. You're afraid to sleep because your soul might rest in peace. You will not think of so many things like, ah. Good night, boo. May it, you may you sleep. Just well, God you know. bless you. The time is 11.59. That's exactly. Where, as in luck like this, you'll you be shivering. You're going to be shiny. Then the sleep is coming. You do like this. Go away. Get deep behind me, Satan. That's when you remember that some people used to sleep. Sleep and no wake up. Okay, English so is hard. So don't, don't use this. Don't use it all. English is hard. <laughs> Let's just move on. <laughs> when you live in a bad neighborhood but you know everyone. So uh, now we have a, a picture of, I think, crocodiles mm -hmm. and then there's a goat or is it a ram? Just walking in their middle unbothered. You know, vibes on vibes. Should I, should I bring out a quote from the Bible? Bring it. The Lord shall prepare before me a table in eh? the presence of, of my, my enemies. enemies. So this one is here, walking through the one, shadow of death. Walking the, through yes. the shadow of death. Ha! I fear no evil. That's it. This one is the guy of the area. I think, I think, Whenever they want to toast, it's the one that I said. So, so, so I, think, I think everybody has passed through. I, I, I know of this face. I've passed through this face. Like, you know all the bad guys in the area. Like, you no, just see. There. You just see. Yeah. You know, bros, I hear you. Bros, I hear you. I found out you did, but. That's why he has so, this hair. Now yeah. that's. So they yeah. cannot mingle. But See. some people cannot pass them. <laughs> like, yes, come here. Amanda, when do they talk? Pay attention. No, they you learn. What people do. It happened a lot. Like, in, yes? It happened a lot in school, Sha. <laughs> but it's very rampant in university. Especially yeah. the guys that know cultists and they're like, he's a cultist. Like, I love walking in the middle. 
Wow. Yeah, let's Some people on. like me don't try it, sir. Because you're speaking plenty English. <laughs> let's just move on. Really tired of I'm good, babe, and you. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Take me to my final destination. This is this mm, talking stage. I, I am see. tired of it. How are you? So, so I'm good. I'm good, babe. And you? I'm good. Have you are eaten? You? Uh -huh. Then another, how are you? How, how are, are you? you? I'm good. What's up? What's how up? are you? See, huh? what do people really want? Wait, OJ, what's up and how are you mean the same thing? We say, how are you? Now say, what's up? We want, How's what, it? What do you we want something want? serious. Yeah, so why are you talking? Don't be going straight oh, to God. Because start today, we, I go start today, know how you they feel now. How are you? I'm fine. Uh -huh. Have you eaten? I've eaten. Uh, you should <laughs> have said you're not eating. You you so, so I'm not saying you should have said you've not eaten now. So that, so that we'll do lunch. Uh, so we'll do lunch. Okay, we'll after talk. lunch, I've got to home. Uh -huh. You're not going no more. Ah! <laughs> you need to know more. Hey, because of lunch. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Run away from mm. me. Danger. That kind of lunch. Danger. <laughs> See, lunch with people like OJ after that you eat your breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> nice one. Mm. I was to see this dog, eh? And he's looking very pissed, mm. actually. I said, see people that are dating chefs. Is it that small food they used to give you to food? Because I don't understand. You go somewhere, they will give you one, one grass. See, one, grass, one, one leaf. two, two leaves. See, I went to a rest, rice. I went to a restaurant recently eh. with two friends, and when I was looking at the menu, <laughs> The good thing with this restaurant was they had samples, pictures of the food. You know the and it was a Thai restaurant. So when you look at it, you can look a at food. the picture that uh, this is what it uh -huh. looks like. Then there was this particular one that in the menu, mm. they now wrote, I'm sure you want some more. Babe, when I look the picture, now only two pieces they do. <laughs> yes, now that's what the other you want one. I want more. piece of steak. They say you should want some. I say the one that happened to me recently. I saw ha. something jollof, something smoky balls. I said, what's oh, that? It's not. Let me try. Let me try. try. Ha! <laughs> it's small like it's small as scotch egg. They now put jollof rice inside. I was, I was angry. But this, not being one smoky balls. This, 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 this is a legit question. What are what they cook at home? Ah, uh, well. Yes. Maybe mm. there's no portion control at home. Okay, Maybe. this is the last one for today. Where is the TV remote? Have you ever looked for your TV remote? Everybody. That's where you won't find it. Everybody. Then that's the TV remote, too. Just looking disguising. at you. Looking at you. Looking at you, staring at you. You have run to the kitchen. You have gone to the sitting room. Did you have gone everywhere. She went and went outside See, and took it. let me tell you something. This thing doesn't happen with just TV remotes. It just happened to me last night with my phone. Yeah. I got home, <laughs> and then I was about to go do something in the kitchen. And I remembered I wanted to do something in the living room, so I just mm -hmm. put my phone here. And then I went and came out like, sorry, where's my phone? I went <laughs> around the house, <laughs> and as I was going the second round, I just stopped in my tracks. I said, what happened to me? I said, look at my hand. I said, what? <laughs> I said, see the phone I've been looking for. Everybody. Everyone. Just calling you. Welcome back to the second half of A Splash. Yes, so far we brought to you the new celebrity birthday. Rewind our lucky Shop Shop game show winner and social view. It is now time to chew it up and today being Friday, it's all about gratitude. Yes. Okay. So, man, I go straight to the point. As in, no, yeah. This one, I just, yeah, you. Just, yeah, you. Sister, go, you have one second. Go straight to the point and tell us what the Lord has say. done. Sister. Hey, everybody, I'm be surprised. <laughs> Okay, going straight to the point. I'm very grateful for my parents. Um, that is the way I'm going to start this. From uh, <clears throat> I know I always tell them that they're annoying me half the time, and I call them these people. I was like, these people say, you know. But I'm actually absolutely grateful for them. Um, grateful for one. They are married together after 30 something years. Uh, when myself. you look around you and you see basketballs, at mm. least when I go home, I just see like a reminder a that, goal. you know what, good marriages do exist. Yes, yes it has do. problems, but you can stay with somebody that's annoying, like OJ, <laughs> for the rest of your life. You understand? Ah. So it gives me hope. <laughs> <laughs> and then, apart from that, the fact that you know, there's just that genuine care. And I know that a lot of people think that, oh, it's not cool if you're close to your parents as an adult. It's like, is your mom oh, no. still calling? Is your dad still calling? <laughs> it is good. <laughs> uh, I'm receiving love. What about you? Maybe yeah, that's true. why you're breaking people's hearts. Mm -hmm. Not get love at home. Don't love it. Don't, don't love it. Don't love it. Okay, so okay. I'm very grateful that they were able to teach me love. Mm -hmm. um, I'm grateful that they were actually able to invest in my life. Mm -hmm. And not just financially. They were able to actually... We're friends, mm, you know. Cool. There are things that we can talk about. There are things that we cannot talk about. <laughs> of course, of, of course. course. <laughs> but all in all, 
um, for Nigerian parents, ah, they, they have done well. <laughs> Thank you for raising me up. That's mm -hmm. all I'm Aww. grateful for. They yeah. raised Please you Please tell Mrs. Akolabi. <laughs> <laughs> you have done well. Mm -hmm. yes. Definitely, definitely. Nigerian parents, yeah. I'm doing all this toasting because I got a new piercing now. <laughs> Mr. Akolabi, when they find out. Mr. Akolabi, that's right. Where is it? It's here. He's here. It's here. It's here. It's on my ear. Just there. Yeah. Just there. Yeah. She has joined the gang. At the other side. Oh, they want to see it. They want to see it. So, mommy and daddy. How many? Tell you how's it. Yeah. It's two. I got here. Three. One, yeah. two. Amanda. I, I toasted you. Mm -hmm. Amanda, mm -hmm. they say one to buckle my shoe. You, you say one to pierce my ear. Hey. They, they, they will drag you. They will not say, I heard what you said. Yeah, it's, okay. it's okay. See, you know, when you want to do something, and you know that when they find out something will happen, you, you pop for them first. Yeah, now. You blow the wood. <laughs> the fire will come. <laughs> well, yeah, you guys Niger have Nigerian done. parents, shout out, shout out to you guys. Yeah, you people can annoy people at times, but yeah, nonetheless, yeah. We, got, well. we, we got much love for you. Yeah, and mm. the role of Nigerian parents cannot be overemphasized, mm -hmm. though many of them <laughs> can overreact, so, but at the end of the day, they mean you well. Mm -hmm. And we all know that most of the time, they just want us to learn from their own experiences. Mm -hmm. They don't want us to experience it, but parents should also understand that sometimes mm -hmm. it's easier and better when you experience and learn from your lessons. Yeah, definitely, definitely, mm -hmm. definitely. Mm -hmm. We're really grateful to have them around. Okay, yeah, okay, that's okay. right. Okay, let me interview people. But, All right. Amanda, please, um, mm. we would like, we, we would like, we would like to know... Uh, what, no words. Just tell us how your mother reacted. She has not seen it. To so what? So you just, <laughs> just notice for us. So no, you come, so come back on the show and just tell us, like, <laughs> you remember that day? So? Yeah. Uh, Amanda, so guys, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> Amanda is going to come back to ask throwback. Mr. Flappy, we agree, but Mr. Flappy. So, where is the Bible? This is like, <laughs> mark your body. Okay. Your body is the temple. <laughs> Let's just move on. Move on. <laughs> Moving on, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for a quick recap of the entertainment news. We talked about this one. Fancy Acholo New confirms breakup with Alex Akuba. Breakfast is served. Mm, we also heard that Amanda Kuti joins recording an academy class of 2021. Mm. Massive one right there. And of course, Kim Kardashian plans to keep West as last name after divorce. Will Ooh. it really happen? Well, we'll keep our fingers crossed. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be back with our second guest after this break. Hi, right, guys. Welcome back to the show. Now it's time for us to tell you about our second guest. Our second guest today is an e-hailing service driver and business owner who enjoys cooking, traveling, and watching movies. She also takes pride in being a lovable, caring, and fun person. Ladies and gentlemen, <gasps> welcome to the show, Princess, a.k.a. the Queen of Riders Nation, from the Big Brother, Naija Shaya. <laughs> welcome, Princess. Thank you. Thank you. Great to have me. you. You so, look nice. You, oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. So, that, your fa your, you people that always do the As show, you, you always have fan names, so the name of your fans are... Riders Nation. Mm -hmm. That's right. Oh, wow. <laughs> Amanda, if you go for the show, what will your own be? Ha, Mandarians. <laughs> hey! Wait, Princess, you put me so on the did, spot, you, <laughs> did you have the name before you went into the house, or the person handling your page just came up with it? Okay, so I'll give that credit to the person handling my page. Okay. And do you like it? I love it. Ah, <laughs> okay. So let's just go right into it. I mean, um, the fact that you have been a taxi driver before the show mm -hmm. and you entered Big Brother, let's talk about, let's start off from the experience of entering Big Brother, coming from that background. How was it? Amazing. Like, the experience has been amazing. It was amazing and still amazing because, mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. the love continuous. I get, exactly, the love I get outside the house, it's like, I don't even know how to. You know, I don't know how to explain the love. I don't know how to describe it. Like, it's been amazing since I got out of the house. And the experience inside the house was great. Mm -hmm. Like, it's something anyone would want to experience. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Why, why did you decide to go for Big Brother, though? Okay, yeah. So, um, yeah, I know, like, the, the, where we live in, uh, being a female taxi driver, you get lots of, um, like, backlash from mm -hmm. people mm -hmm. and all mm -hmm. that. So, like, mainly going into the Big Brother house was just to encourage the young ladies out there that, yes, be proud of who you are, be proud of what you do. You can be who you are, you can be anything, you can do anything, like there's no job that is limited for the guys, like mm -hmm. for the men, like you can do anything, so be proud of who you are. So me going in there as a taxi driver was just to encourage the young women out there that you can do anything and be yeah. proud of your job, whatever that's you so. do. That's yeah. that's so so that's what, what else are you interested in? If you were not a taxi driver, what would you have been? 
Oh, okay. So, yeah, I, I was a businesswoman, mm. yeah. <laughs> of course. <laughs> yeah, so I was doing a couple of businesses before, before the taxi mm -hmm. uh, thing. Yeah, so I probably would have been a businesswoman. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about your time in Big Brother. I know that at some point you revealed to us that you had some affection towards Cross. <laughs> at the end. <laughs> at the tail of time. She just got to the door. You understand? Meanwhile. Meanwhile. Cross. <laughs> It's my real my crush. crush. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. hey. <laughs> 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 you want to tell us about that? Is this something you're looking forward to when he eventually leaves the house? Uh, I don't think so. I wouldn't say that because, like, nothing, there, there was no relationship in yeah. the house. So it was so, just like, like a crush. He was just a crush, yes. And he don't yeah. die. You said that, not me. Oh, <laughs> are, you are, you look, are you okay to take it a step further? Like I said, not there was no relationship okay. in the house, so yeah. I can't say even if it's going to happen. But there's a cross. There's, exactly. There's yeah. a cross for cross. I love so, it. If, some, <laughs> so if something wants to happen, can it happen? Uh, that is if it won't be too late for him. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I like uh, 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 that. Why is from the top? You don't treat my gender like that. <laughs> okay, so talking about relationships and friendships in the house, uh, who was that person that when you came out and you heard something they said or you saw the person nominated you, you felt bad? Who was that person? Um, okay, for the nomination, I didn't feel bad that anybody nominated me, even though some people drew my attention to the fact that Cross nominated me. <laughs> 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 exactly. Like, but I didn't feel any type of way because, yeah, it's a game. And at that time, he didn't know I was crushing, crushing on him yeah. mm -hmm. at that time. So if, if he had known, I'd probably feel a type of way. But, yeah, it's a game. And at some point, they will all leave the house. It's just mm -hmm. one winner mm -hmm. yeah. at the end of the day. So I didn't feel any type of way. And for the things I heard about, no, I don't think I heard anything uh, from anyone that I didn't expect. Yeah, I don't think I heard anything. Uh. Yeah, but the only thing that surprised me was, yeah, because I was watch I watched uh, one of the diary sections, uh -huh. and then I saw when Pere... No, no, not Pere. <laughs> oh, no, no, not Pere. Uh, mm. Not Pere. Uh, uh, Angel. No, no, not a Angel. A guy? A guy, yes. Saga? The former head of house before Pere. Boma, Boma. exactly, okay. yes. Mm. So I saw when Boma said, he said a lot of things in the diary room, knowing that I'm out there, <laughs> I'm probably watching, You'll I'm see. like... Are you kidding me? Yeah. So this guy has this, you know, Mind. thing. Yeah. Mm. Uh, so let about us me. talk about that. Um, mentally, how would you say that you are, you know, in reaction to Big Brother? I know that you guys were on a lockdown before the show, and then you spent a couple of weeks in the house. Mm -hmm. How did that affect you psychologically? Uh, well, uh, it did. Well, affect good. Me. Yes, I'm good. Ah. I'm good. It, it probably only affected me maybe the first week. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, getting from isolation and yes, getting into the house and seeing people exactly. So uh, it probably affected me that first week. But yeah, I'm good. I'm fine. Oh, OK. <laughs> let, before we go on a quick break, let me take a cue from what you said. You said you didn't, you didn't make known your crush to cross. That's why I nominated you. Dear ladies, if you are crushing on anybody, mm. just tell them ah, ASAP. You, they never, just go on the you, never, you never can tell your crush, my... Go on the break. All right, thank you so much, OJ. Right now, we're going on a quick break. And when we get back, Princess will still be in the building. <laughs> As you can see, we still have Big Brother Niger, Shania House, Evicted Housemaid, Princess in the Building! Yeah. And she likes this Daniel song, by the way. Yes, so I'm not a so Daniel fan. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amanda, what's the problem? Mm -hmm. Amanda Pepe, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Princess, so uh, now that you're out of the house, what are your plans? Are you going back to Abuja, or what, what exactly do you have planned? Oh, okay, so... Um... I've said a um, couple of times in a couple of interviews that, okay, so my taxi app, like, hmm. I want to op open That's a taxi mad. app. Yeah, mm, nice. So, like, while we're waiting for that to happen, yeah. um, I have my restaurant coming up also. Nice. And my cosmetic business. Ooh. Wow. And it looks like Nollywood and the entertainment hey, industry. Hey, so <laughs> Talking ah. about um, Taxi App, I mean, we heard that uh, when you came out of the house, <laughs> that you were given a, a car, actually, by your family. So you this show is going to go show all of us. And and they, 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 this must buy us car. Uh, uh, people are already ordering your, their cars. What's your name? Yeah. Yeah. The fans. What's your own name? I never get it. <laughs> <laughs> already, um, so what, what is the situation there um, with the car? Was I know that you are... I'm actually waiting for the car, because... Yeah. 
Oh. Uh, did you see any car? So well, now you saw pictures. Oh. Uh, we saw pictures. Pick saw pictures. Is it, is I it? saw pictures also. Hey, <laughs> I so now audio. I didn't see audio. Yes, I didn't see. Hey. A car. Yeah. Wow. But I'm um, hoping that before I leave you, I get my laptop because I saw a laptop. <laughs> 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 Princess is asking. She's asking for our laptop. Oh. Now wow. let, let's go back. Let's go back to Big Brother. So the old car thing, nothing, no, nothing. No, it was good, yeah. Let's go back to Big Brother itself. The beginning. What did you do that you think made them pick you as a housemate? What did you do right? What did I? With Big Brother, you never know what you you would do right. So how did or you start you your right? video? I know yeah, that um, Yerin said, "I'm a polymath." <laughs> um, so how did you start your video? Was it "I'm a taxi driver"? No, no, it wasn't. I'm a taxi driver. Okay. Like no, you started with you start with an introduction mm -hmm. and you know just basically an introduction. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now you um, mentioned it too. Did you mention? Did I? I don't know if I did. did. I can't remember if I did. Wow. Did, you, did you make your video like a proper video? I mean, just no, phone, just a normal. Phone. I just did. I didn't plan for the video. I just did a normal video, not like mm. okay. maybe calling no photographers sir. or yeah. videographers. No, they went in. They, they went. They went they no pick, they no pick they're no picking. They're no picking. It's like a serious so something. Still on the Big Brother um, show. Who do you think is going to be um, in the top three? Okay, uh, that's it. And then who do you think is going to be the winner? Hmm. Top three. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course, I'm going to pick my babies. <laughs> okay, mm -hmm. yeah. Which are? Which is uh, White Money, mm -hmm. Tega, mm -hmm. Liquor Rose. Okay. Mm -hmm. So who do you think is going to be a winner? <laughs> mm. I want mm. all of them to win, but it's uh, quite unfortunate beg. that they can't. Uh -huh. yeah, so <laughs> one person. One person has to win. Uh, white Money stands a chance. Okay. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nice. Who is that housemate that's... When the person comes out, people will first settle some kind of wala at the moment. That you face the person like you is it Boma? And <laughs> and who? Pere. And Pere. And it's General Pere. Yeah, it's General <laughs> Pere. Ah. What so, going, what's the discussion gonna be like? I gonna tell us it's Pere. I just like, what's wrong with you? Uh, Should be outside the house now. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 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 so Lovely. in the house, who was that housemate that you know that? When you're around that person, once the person surfaces, you know you're going to have fun, even if it is not time to party. Hmm. That would be white money. Because, mm -hmm. yes, I was really close to white money. Oh, the house yeah. and Tega, of course, yeah. So that would be white money. Mm -hmm. Like, he cracks me up every time. Like, whenever oh, I'm oh. around white money, like, you must laugh. Mm. You must do something funny. Yes, so that would be white money. All nice. Right, so right. sweet. Thank you very much, Princess, for coming. The mm -hmm. queen of the Riders Nation. Looking yep. forward to the app and every other thing. Yes, we Amanda, are. Amanda will actually come to your restaurant to chat. I will. Mm, nice. will yeah, <laughs> thank definitely. You. have a customer in me. All right. Thank you very <laughs> thank much you. for coming, ladies and gentlemen. That's it with our second guest. We'll be back after this break with our third guest. This life, we cannot kill ourselves. All right, guys, welcome back to the show. Yes, again, it is time for another. Another amazing interview. Now, Lush Hair Nigeria is a brand of hair extensions, and they have come with the promise of enhancing and improving the hair game. Joining us on the show this afternoon is Adorable Touch, who happens to be the hairstylist for Lush Hair. Welcome to the show. Hi. Welcome. 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 <laughs> so, who is Adorable Touch, and why that name? Okay, um, my name is Olagoke Adrian Omiesta. Okay. I'm a professional stylist, and my brand name is Adorable Stodge. Hmm. So, why Adorable Stodge? Um, I got the name Adorable Stodge from my name. My name is Adora. So, ah, yeah. <laughs> adorable. Adora. Yeah. So, nice. um, my friends and family call me Adorable, which is, <laughs> I got it from the word adorable. Mm -hmm. So, I just replaced the O in adorable with you in adora, so that makes it adorable. adorable. Mm. Um, my cousin Olua for me gave me the name adorable stodge because the first time I styled her, she was like, "Yes, this is the real adorable stodge." <laughs> <stash." laughs> I love it. That love was how it. I got my full name. Okay. All right. So tell us about your journey to becoming a hairstylist. How it all began. Oh wow! My journey to become a hairstylist is quite a unique one. My late mom was the one who took me to wear lens hair styling at mm. first. And my dad was the one who paid for the training. So I owe it to the both of them. Like, they are the reason I'm here today. And a um, um, few years later, around 2017, I went to upgrade my skills to become a brighter hair stylist. Mm -hmm. So 
The first time I learned Esther was in 2012, so I upgraded in 2017. So all together, it's been nine years. Of and how's this been? Wow. Yes. Wow. How's that been? Ah, it's been amazing. It's been, it's been, um, it's been fulfilling. It's wow. Been fulfilling. But, but what do you think are like, or what would you say are your major challenges? Looking at the fact that we have a lot of people who are into mobile hairstyling, you know, home service, and also the fact that you know labor in Nigeria generally is very, very, I don't want to use the word cheap, you understand what I'm trying to say. <laughs> but what are yeah, the major okay. challenges that you face? Okay, the first major challenge is getting clients, mm -hmm. creating your own customer client base. Like, mm -hmm. this is the major challenge any stylist can face. And um, as a mobile stylist, mobility, moving from one place to another, there might be traffic, um, Uber fares and stuff like that, it is always a challenge on its own. Mm -hmm. And... Um, Clients skip into time. Oh. That is like, <laughs> you, you, it's sometimes being a mobile stylist, it limits you to having more clients in a day because a client might give you an appointment for 12 mm -hmm. and you might get there even before 12 and by theory four, she might not be ready for you. So clients mm. skip into time, you know, they'll be like African time. You should yeah, understand true. that it is African time. Mm -hmm. And security too. Security too is a thing like, Anytime I go out for jobs, my family, they're always calling, hope you're safe, you're where okay. are you, where yeah. exactly are you, where have you gotten to? So those are like the challenges we face as mm -hmm. a mobile stylist. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. So for the past nine years, you've been a stylist. Yes. And I'm very sure there have been ups and downs in your journeys to being a stylist. Your journey has not really been smooth. So what has been the highlight for you? Oh, <laughs> okay. The major highlight is... Um, meeting people, different people from different parts of Nigeria, outside the world, like... Like, like who? A, you want to give us some names? <laughs> celebrities, so many celebrities, um, brides, because I'm majorly a bride hair stylist, mm -hmm. meeting brides, bridesmaids, event planners, like, getting to meet so many people's, you know, people in, in the industry, it's mm -hmm. just like, it is an highlight on it. So, and um, going to places, different locations, you can yeah. get jobs, outside Lagos, within Lagos, like places that you might not even think of going through. Normally. Mm, normally, yeah, but yeah. this kind of job will actually take you there. And um, making money, of course. Of like, course. That's like the major <laughs> highlight. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> all right, so with all this glue, tell us what you love about Lush Hair. Why do you love Lush Hair? Oh, my God. Lush Hair is an amazing brand mm -hmm. because... It is tangle free. Like you hardly use a lush hair product and it tangles. Like it is reusable. You can use it more than once. You can use it as many times as, pos as possible. Mm -hmm. And um, it is actually very, very light. So you can't mm -hmm. wear a lush hair product and it will feel heavy on your head. No, at all. <laughs> and um, um, there are so many other ways I reasons I like um, lush hair because. It is um, easy to manage. Mm -hmm. you, can, you can rock a lush hair product as many times as possible. And it also has varieties of products for different skin colors, different hairstyles. So it is, it is an amazing yeah. brand. Ditto, I second you on that. Uh, everything you said is absolutely true about lush hair. And so someone like me, I'm doing my hair next week. Okay. Party of lush hair, of course. <laughs> and um, I'm just thinking to myself, like, oh, what do I do? So what would you say as a hairstylist, what would you say are the top three trending hairstyles that I can use with um, lush hair extension? Okay, um, not less braids. Mm -hmm. You can make braids with it. Not less braids is like... The trend of the season. It's the trend of the season. Yeah. The season. Uh -huh. Like, you can... Style it in different ways mm -hmm. as you wish, and um, you can also do crochet. Well, uh, uh, the, the crochet products mm -hmm. yeah. you can also rock that one for any event. And uh, they're natural. Uh, do you use um, lush hair for your brides? Yes, I do. I do. Nice. Like I do. My last weekend bride was um, a natural hair stylist. Like I had to style her hair with a uh, um, neural cause. So it was, hmm. it really, really came out, really, really, really came out nice. Nice to hear. That's really, really, really good. So uh, there are so many intending uh, um, stylists who want to come out and they're like, okay, I want to be like a durable stuff. <laughs> so what <laughs> advice do you have for them on how to build their clientele and get to that level? Um, uh, for stylists that are just coming up, I'll just say, give it time. Don't rush. Like, just take your time. Follow 
trust the process. Rome was not built in a day. Everyone started from somewhere. Yeah, so word. just try as much as possible to, to be yourself, listen to your clients, mm -hmm. give them what they want, yeah. and um, be hardworking, be dedicated to your work, and always invest back into your business. Hey, your making you. money today doesn't mean <laughs> you should spend everything True. on yourself. Invest it back to the business. Go for upgrades, learn more, and don't see your colleagues as competitors instead of see them as inspirations. Hmm. Wow. Ah, Great to have you. As motivation in... on a Friday afternoon. <laughs> Great words of advice. Thank you so much, Adorable Stretch, thank for you, coming. Thank you, thank you so much you. for being thank a part of the show. Me. Thanks for coming. All right, guys, that's how we can take on our third guest, courtesy of Lush Hair. We'll be back after this break. Mm. Master right there, Master yes. Crab, Zlatan, and Bella Schmother. Yes, yeah. I probably do. People were looking out for Bella Schmothers uh, because Whiskey just dropped his Made in Lagos Deluxe album. Um, added three more tracks. And to the see, existing Made in Lagos. Existing yeah. Tracks. Okay. And yeah, we saw pictures of Bella Schmother and Whiskey in the studio. We saw Bella Schmoda and Buju that, in the yeah. studio. Yeah, that song, is, that yeah. song made it. There's yeah. the Essence remix with Justin Bieber. Uh, people were expecting to see Bella Schmoda waiting for the track. Even Whiskey put it up there. Like, he recorded Anoti with Bella Schmoda, mm. but we didn't hear Bella Schmoda voice on that track. And there are different speculation right now. Yeah. You know, he has a problem with his record label <laughs> at the moment. He's like, so I'm on a track with somebody. I don't know, like... And it's time should... for... Hey! And there's one... Ah, there's no, one blessings, hmm. though. As in, there's, one, was... there's one clause somewhere, and it's just crazy. Man. Man, I was looking forward to that track, man. Because I saw the video, I saw the studio the session when they were jumping yes. up and down. In Ghana, then, like, wait till they cook. Hey. It's just like the fact that Whiskey can get away with doing the deluxe of this. Because when I saw the, the post on Instagram, the I, people, I was like, is this a documentary? <laughs> what's this? You know, it showed some clips, the journey, it showed yeah. a lot of Lagos. We're like, oh, what's going on? What's going on? Have we seen a, a short film? <laughs> <laughs> I say, ah, it's deluxe. It's only Whiskey that can yeah. pull out. And then yeah. the, the reception has been massive. It's not out yet. But people are really it's looking it's forward to it. It's it's oh, yeah, it just dropped. Yeah, yeah. Just, so just people dropped. are have been looking forward to it. The anticipation has been amazing. Mm -hmm. And now that it's dropped, I can't wait to get off the show to see how many mm -hmm. listens yeah. it has gotten. Already. Because it's whiskey now. Nah. I'm no. all logo. Hey. hey. The last one, I don't know. <laughs> Bella, yeah. Don't worry, better luck next time. You release another album in the yeah. uh, 2030. Or, or maybe it's not be Bella Schmoda featuring Whiskey. Featuring Whiskey. Himself. Or maybe Whiskey will just That's leak it. All right. or it will just, be a leak. Somebody will just steal Whiskey's hard drive. This was the version that was supposed to See, have. You know what, guys? Let's just we keep our fingers crossed and move on. <laughs> yes, sir. Before we go, guys, yes, this week's reminder that happiness is free. Check this out. Reminder that if you're going to come and marry a Nigerian, specifically a Yoruba girl, mm. get your dancing shoes on hey. and teach your parents how to dance because the Alaga will not favor you. She will not look at your face. No, so. I even like the fact that he was actually even dancing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. when he said, and very well, like, ah. culture is very, very One of the stress useful. people, man. One uh -huh. of the stress. It's not stress. It's, it's fun. Yeah. Because <laughs> happiness is free. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, in case you have missed the show throughout the week and you want to catch up, we'll be showing you the highlights of all that went down from Monday through to Friday tomorrow. While you can also watch uh, from our YouTube channel, of course, at www.youtube.com forward slash TVC Entertainment to get the full dose of pure entertainment Yee. every day, all day. On that note, we have to go. Turn to the It is the last Friday of yeah. the month. Yeah. We are super excited. And we have our TVC Fun Friday. Hey. Every last Friday of the month. Turn up. I had Lady Cass in the building mm -hmm. and King Go J. You already know. I say you have a fun weekend. Yeah. Hey. Hey.